Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I am going to be showing you how to add and set up your own wholesale program on your existing Shopify store. So you won't need to create a second store and you won't even need to upgrade to Shopify Plus. So I am going to be showing you how you can create a private wholesale section that is only going to be visible to your login customers and I am going to show you how to set up a wholesale customer application form where a customer can fill out this form and then on the back end you're going to be able to approve or reject their application to become a wholesale on your Shopify store. And lastly, I am going to be showing you how you can set up a wholesale pricing on your existing product pages that is going to be visible only to your login wholesale customers. So this video is going to be very straightforward. So if you want to learn about this without spending so much money, then make sure to watch this video until the end because I am going to show you step by step and the process is easy and very straightforward. So before we get started with today's video, I have a link down below on my description with the best current Shopify deal where you're going to get a three free days trial and then after that on your first month instead of paying the full price of the plan that you're going to pick, you are only going to pay one dollar. So if you want to save your coins while you're running your business, make sure to use that link down below on my description so you can save your money. And without wasting so much time, let's dive in straight into today's video. So now we are inside our Shopify store. Um, this is a complete store already. I have customized like everything. There are some products in here, collections. So make sure you customize your store before moving on to add a wholesale um, process in your inside your store because if you don't do it then this process won't work out so the first stage make sure you have everything in your store like products and maybe collection but the most important thing is to have products already in your store so let's go back on the online store so the first thing that we are going to do right now we are inside our admin page we are going to add an app that is going to make this process easier so let's go ahead and click here add app and then we're going to go to shopify app store and then once we get here we're going to type in here i'm going to type in here wholesale okay so once you type in wholesale you will find like a bunch of different apps that you can use they are all great so you can go ahead and read the review and pick what you, what app you like. They have free prep and pick what app you want. But specific, I want to use this app. It's called Wholesale B2B. And I am going to use this process Wholesale B2B pricing. So I'm going to click that. So this app is great. It is $14.99 per month and there's also a free trial available. And this is the pricing. And if you go down here, they have reviews. They have 4.5 stars, so this is great. So what you're gonna do, let's click here, install. And then click here, install. And we're gonna add it inside our Shopify store. Okay. So the next step will be to choose a plan if you want to use essential plan or enterprise and of course they won't charge you right away um, because all plans include a 14 day trial so you can click clear choose and then you can go ahead and pay your subscription on the plan you pick so you can pay by credit card a debit card or a paypal and then you're gonna have a uh, over here you'll see you have a 14 days free trial that'll be ending on specific date from the day from today for me it's gonna end july 13 and this will be my total and i won't be charged until my 14 days trial and uh ended okay so let's go ahead and pay with the debit and credit card so i am going to approve that okay and they won't charge us until um, our free trial ended. So if you want, you can go ahead and watch this 
video so you can know all about this app but i am going to show you everything so you don't have to worry but if you want to watch you can go ahead and watch the video so these are the steps that we are going to do we are going to set up a sign up form and then set up a wholesale prices and product page then set up quick buy tables and then create and assign discounts so in order to set in order to set this up we actually need to insert a couple of blocks into um our theme so let's go ahead and start creating all of them together from scratch so we are going to start with a sign up form so let's go back on our online store here and then we are going to click here customize and then we are now inside our store okay and then we are going here on the home page here let's click this arrow down and then we are going to click pages here so once you click pages click select create a template so we're going create template and this template is going to be our sign up page so let's give it a name wholesale sign up wholesale sign up and then we are going to put a default page okay and then after that we are going to click here create a template so you have to make sure you create a template just like how i show you because if you don't and you put it on the default page template um and any other pages you create the wholesale blocks are going to be showing up on that so you have to make sure you are creating um it's you are creating it on its own template just like how i showed you next and then on the left hand side here click add section and then we're going on the apps and then we are going to add uh, we're going to select the wholesale sign up form so we're going to select that and the sign up form will be added here so this will be added here based on the default um and this is all because we have downloaded the wholesale app okay and then we have some customization option so click inside this form and then it will pop up on this hand side here so over here um there is registration from heading so this is going to be the heading that says create wholesale account um uh, so you can edit the way you want maybe you can say apply apply to apply to a wholesale account or maybe you can just say create a wholesale account that uh, you can add what you want then we can configure our sign up fields and choose which one we want to show whether we want them to be required or not so if we go here so let's say you want the business name to be optional as right now it's required so you can put it here optional and then it won't be required so you can play with this and pick which one you want to be optional and which one you want to be required maybe a website is required you can go and do that so the website will be required or you can make it optional okay so you can play with them okay and then over here you can also edit um, a text to show to a logout customer above login button so you can edit this message or you can um you can add edit whatever you want so you can play with them um it's everything is just like straightforward so you can customize the way you actually want it so go over all this section and edit or add info how you want and then um we can go over here let's click save and now let's get rid of this title here that says contact so click on it and then let's go here on the page click these uh three dots and click here hide and it will be taken out and that's how the page is going to be looking like only it's going to say apply to a wholesale account so now let's go back so let's click save here first and let's exit let's go back to the admin page here and now we are going to add a page so make sure you are on your online store and click here pages and then we are going to create a page so click here add page and we are going to write here wholesale application
okay and then we can go ahead and select a template that we created which was wholesale sign up and then let's go ahead and click save so now let's go ahead and click here view so we can view the page how it looks like okay so now this is how um the page is actually looking like so let's go back then let's go to navigation and we are going to add it on our main menu uh, on top here on our main menu so go here main menu and then we're going to click add menu we are going to look for page we created which is a wholesale application and then click add and then we are going to click save now let's go back on our store and refresh it and now we have our wholesale application so if we were on the home page and click here wholesale application the uh, people will be able to apply here to create their wholesale account okay so now we have set up a sign up a page so now we need to add the wholesale price into our product page so let's go back inside our store here so let's go back online into our customization page we are going to do pretty much uh, the same step we were doing so we are clicking here on the home page and we're going to click here product and then we are going to click click on default product now if you want to assign these to certain products you can create a template for that but on this case we are going to assign into um all of our product okay now on the left hand side here let's go ahead and click add block okay let's go on the apps and then we're going to add product wholesale so click product wholesale and then let's go ahead and we're going to drag this and i'm going to put it below below prices so i'm just gonna drag it and put it here below prices so you can pretty much drag it whatever you want and then i am going gonna go ahead and click save okay next let's go on top here again and then we are going to select cart and on the left hand side over here where it says subtotal price let's go ahead and click add block and then we're going to look for a cut wholesale and then let's go drag it and put it down below subtitle price you can put whatever you want but i just like to put it here and then let's go ahead and click save and just like that we have added the wholesale prices at our product so pretty much you're not going to see it here on the preview uh, because you actually not logged into uh, you're not logging in the preview but you will see it once you are logged in into um, a wholesale account okay and just like that we have had we have added the wholesale prices to our products pages now let's set up a private wholesale section okay so we are going to click here on top here and then we are going to click pages and then now we are going to create another template so this is going to be a wholesale tab table so we're gonna name it wholesale table and then we are going to click by default page and then we are going to create a template and then now we are gonna go to the page that we created here on the template click here add section and we are going to add a block and then let's select quick buy so this is going to add in this wholesale table and then oh uh, uh, we have a contact here let's hide this again let's hide it so now you can go on and customize the page the way you want just like how you normally customize a shopify page let's go back here so if you want to add maybe like a heading or you want to just customize the way you want but for now i'm just gonna leave it as how it is so click inside here inside the page that we created and on the left hand side here this is where we can do all the customization so first you can choose to showcase maybe specific collection so you can select here a collection and you can choose which one you want to showcase here and you can select how many products you want to share to show up a page maybe like 10 products or maybe like six products seven products you can select there and then you can customize uh, some quick colors for your table 
for your borders you can select the color you want maybe you the border you want it to be red or you want it to be black so you can customize the way you want um maybe but um background maybe you want them to be red you can just do how you actually want it you can customize just like how you normally customize your shopify stores so feel free to do whatever you want this page to look to look like okay and then down here you can go ahead and choose what we want to actually to show to customer that are not a login um as a wholesale customers so you can either show them um sign up form or a lock screen so you can select which one you want and the lock screen this is what we have set up earlier so let's say you select a lock screen here okay then you can come down here and configure the lock screen message so this is a section so you, the currently the message says this is a section i mean this is section is only accessible by wholesale customers okay so this is the message and then we can go right here um and we can paste the link to our sign up page so click in here select pages and then add the wholesale site i mean the wholesale application page okay we're gonna add it in there so this is what people will actually see whenever they are uh, log in they will see this message here and then the link to our wholesale application so if you want that you can go ahead and leave it there and then click save so pretty much this is your choice you can either uh, you want to show them a sign up form or a lock screen. So once you are happy with all the changes you want you made there, you can go ahead and click save. So now let's go ahead and create this page and add it on our main menu. So let's go back customization page, click pages, and then click add a new page. And then right here we are going to type in here wholesale order and then we can go ahead and choose a template so on this case we are going to choose wholesale table and then we are going to click save and after that it's it has been saved let's go on the navigation and then we are going on the main menu and then we are going to click add menu and we are going to the pages here and then we are going to select wholesale order and then we're going to click add and let's click it save let's refresh it um let's click here and let's refresh it and see if it's added up here and now we have our wholesale order so this is the link that i was saying um this is the message that we customized on the previous step uh which say this is a section i mean this is section is only accessible by wholesale customer you know you can go back and edit this which is going to be this section is only available by the wholesale customer and then you can click here create they can click here create wholesale account and they'll be taken here where they can create their wholesale account so let's go back and edit this message here it kind of look funky let's click customize let's go back here home page go back to pages what's the wholesale table click in here and let's go back here this section customers okay let's go this section so it's gonna say only this section is only accessible by wholesale customer okay i'm gonna save the changes uh, let's go back here and see okay now it's now it is good this section is only accessible by wholesale customers okay so now everything looks great so this is our store we have a section where they can do wholesale application and also a section for wholesale orders so let's go back on our app the app that we added okay let's click here apps this is the app the process wholesale so now we have completed all these steps that we wanted so in order for you to have all of this wholesale section you need to download this app so and this is where you can see all your customers we have two sections there is a pending b2b customers and active b2b customers so for the pending section these customers are going to be showing up here all of them will be 
shown up here whenever somebody fill out a wholesale application and you can accept them or reject them on this section here you will have um so let's say create a wholesale let's say hello hello my business is hello um so hello at gmail.com okay so i'm just pretending this is like one of our customer they sign up here and i'm going to click submit and then uh, this is how the message they're going to see that thank you your wholesale account is currently under review and then when they go to the wholesale order as well this is where they're going to see the same message too so let's go back on our app and see so let's refresh that so now you can see here this is a pending customer these are the people this is the person who signed up uh, for our wholesale so you can see the customer name and their sign up nuts so over here you can click on it and then you have an option to accept them or reject them so let's say you want to accept them they'll once you accept them they'll be accepted right here so i'm going to click it and then i'm going to accept them so and now they'll be here let's refresh the page okay now we have an active customer there so you'll see them there so let's go back and refresh and see so now they'll be able to see when they go back they'll refresh their their application and they'll be able to see that they have been accepted so they will get to see um all the product that they can actually get on the wholesale and over here on the wholesale application it will show them that they have logged in into uh into their wholesale account so so this is where you'll see all the pending and this is where you'll see all the active and then on the discount section here this is where you can create a discount and assign them to your customers so that's pretty much it so i hope this video really helped you a lot thank you for watching this video if you have any question let me know down below on the comment section and yeah i'll see you guys on the next video